Just rubbing the yellow and the white. I'll rub that into the orange. So the cardamom red. And then up to the alizarine crimson. And again, try and soften all those lines so that they're not hard lines. keep this as light as I can. I'll put the white back into the elephants. That's where the light's really hitting them. And again, just always squint if you're not sure on your reference material where the light is. And then it just stands out. You can see triangles, circles. Just soften that slightly. The light's going back into this one. So white down his tail on his front leg and again just soften and the final one just a bit of white there that will help him to show up Now we need to put some alizarin crimson right over the elephants. So this is on all the darker bits that aren't in light. I'm just covering up the paint that we originally put on because that was more like a guide or a base coat. that in gently. That trunk, that's the one that we've put in. Tidying it up a little bit as well. Just rub that in again gently. And the final elephant. So you don't have to stick to the colours of the elephants either. Nice bright red elephants. They're very sort of exotic and very fitting for Tunisia. Just look at the shape of his head, draw that back in. There's a little bit of a tusk there, we'll just pop that in with white. 
Now I need to fix this before I do any more. Just spray with a fixative. You see how nicely it darkens up. I'm putting plenty of fixative on because I'm going to paint in watercolour afterwards and I don't want it to move. To leave it a moment to dry. Right we now need to define the elephants a little bit so I'm just going to use a small sword liner brush and I'm going to mix up some Prussian blue and a little bit of sepia just to make it very dark. Now the idea of using a sword liner rather than a small brush is it's quite random with thick and thin lines so you can't be precise and that will give you your looseness and then I'm just going to Draw around the outline, sort of roughly, leaving the light bits light. Look for the shapes of the elephant. And we don't have to put loads of detail in. Quite thick paint I'm using. Just looking at the shape that it's making. There's an ear here that's quite dark, we can put that in. And you just can't be fu fussy or tight using a sword liner. Putting in every line, it's just I'm getting the gist of the elephant. If there's anything very dark, I can fill that in. I think that's probably all I need on that one, so we'll go on to the next elephant. Same sort of thing, just outlining. His tail eyes around the back. Follow the leg through. And just look at sort of how he's standing and get the shapes of the legs in. The legs quite dark. And the lighter one there. quite dark underneath there, we can just put that in, that will give it a little bit of definition. And the final elephant, exactly the same way. You can see some lines are thick and some are thin, and that's just really good. The shape, the head. And the leg comes through from there, sort of following the joints through. It's quite dark there. Dark triangle here, we'll just put that in. I just need to anchor them down a little bit, so I'm just going to do a little bit of a line along here. 
And that's our exotic elephants finished. Now available on DVD. Try these techniques yourself at home whenever you wish. The extended version of today's workshop is now available to order on DVD from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.